What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment here to bring to you my takeaway and analysis video for the game that's just gone final versus Arkansas State. Uh, before I get started with the video, please leave uh, a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about the game. Were you disappointed with the outcome? Is it exactly how you felt the game was going to end? Let me know how you feel about the game and about our team in general in the comment section below. If you like the video, please leave a like on the video. It definitely helps the channel. And if you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. So, I don't even know where to get started with this game. Obviously, the ending score, you know, they scored couple of touchdowns and garbage time that made the score look a lot closer than it really was but there's a lot of issues on this team and let's the the first thing obviously no matter what people say the the, the experiment with Davis Warren to me that that's out you know he's had three games to show what he's about. He's had three games to get into the groove of things, get knock off whatever rust he's supposed to have had. For the mere fact, he hasn't started a game in like five years. But I haven't seen any improvement between any of these games. I mean, you can see the, you know, the 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 arm talent. I mean, obviously he's not any big name quarterback or anything like that. He's got a decent arm. He's got decent touch. But it's like he's just so inconsistent with a lot, especially with his decision making. Like that first pick, I don't know what he was doing. Third pick, also bad. So it's like you're playing Arkansas State, which is going to be more likely one, if not the easiest game on the schedule, and you throw three picks. So just imagine that from this point on, things get more difficult. How can you trust a guy that's throwing three picks to Arkansas State? So, to me, going forward, it has to be Alex Orji. Because when he was in there, from what I saw, I mean, you might as well give him a chance. Because I guess the consensus is that Orji can't throw. But I'd rather... Take my chances at Orgy trying to throw, then Warren throwing it to the other team consistently. Plus he has a he has an element of being able to run. So once you, you get all that in there, to me, it's a no-brainer that you have to start Orgy versus USC. Because to me, he didn't even he didn't play bad. I know that touchdown pass he threw wasn't the greatest, but I'm thinking that the issue more than anything else is his technique and fundamentals, you know, on the run probably are not good. His technique probably isn't good on the move. But when he was actually back there, set his feet and threw, he looked like he threw a decent football. That overthrow should have been a touchdown to Fred Moore. Fred Moore doesn't decide to to jog out of his route. That's a touchdown. It wasn't a bad throw. It was actually a perfect throw. So I think Orgy can actually throw the football. Why they why they haven't allowed and given him an opportunity, I don't know. But it's like seeing how bad Warren has been for these first three games, they would have been better off dealing with the growing pains of dealing with Orgy than dealing with Warren. 
so much to me there's so much more potential from having Alex Orgy in there getting confident and you know getting acquainted with the offense than with Davis Warren so it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week I, I would be I would be shocked if more going against USC trust Davis Warren back out there because he's just not it man he he can throw the football but it, it, it's like if he doesn't have the time if he gets nervous it, he just everything goes out the window he makes bad decisions he makes bad throws and it, it's not helping that the offensive line is not pass blocking very well as well. So all that's a recipe for disaster. Now, what you would think might be the one bright spot of the game, I'm not I'm not holding my breath on that. I, I'm not giving that a gold star. I'm not ha I'm happy to see that we got some production from our running game today. But Arkansas State was one of these teams that struggled against the run. So us running the football, I mean, it's great. It's almost like you're struggling shooting free throws or making a shot. And you you make a layup. You make a couple of layups. So you're just happy to see the ball go through the basket. So I get that, but... I want to see Michigan run against a team that actually puts up an actual fight. Arkansas State sucks against the run. So it is what it is. I, I mean, like I said, I guess you, you can... I would have been even more concerned if we struggled against them running the football. So I guess there's that, but still... I don't know where we go with this with this team. Um, you know, obviously to me, Mullings seems like the the starting running back. Though I will say that Donovan Edwards looked a lot better this game, running a lot harder, running with a lot more purpose, running with a little bit more shiftiness, not going down after the first hit. Um, you know, just running better. I mean, the actual overall just attitude of him running the football was a whole lot better. He looked a lot better between the tackles. And from that aspect, I'm happy for it. But the, the line itself is still obviously a work in progress, still a struggle. Evan Link still struggling with both run blocking and pass blocking. So I don't know how long we stick with that aspect of it as well before we make a change. But the line play has to get better. Um, wide receivers have to get better. Um, hopefully it's not anything you know serious with Colson Loveland. Because without him being out there, this the receiving game uh, is is going to be non-existent. Like who who can you rely on to catch the football? Other than him, they don't have a number one receiver. They don't have a number two. They don't even have. I don't even know who you would consider their main target other than Colson Loveland. And that's a scary proposition. So, offensively speaking, man, other than Loveland Mullins and maybe the you know the big play ability out of Donovan Edwards, what do we have? We have a one-dimensional offense. But I would say 
you know, if you, at least if you give Orgy a chance and he gets comfortable and actually starts completing passes, they don't have to be big plays, but just short passes. With it, you know, I don't even care if it's dink and dunk. If you do that with play action, add in the threat of quarterback run, I think that you can make something of their offense. But, um, you know, the, the team is it's worse than just offense. Defensively, you know, they play much better. You know, like I said, two of those touchdowns were given up. We're in garbage time. That first one that they gave up, that one, man, Jesus, that, that, was, that was real bad, though. I don't know what Pollard was doing. But um, this team, and it has to be on the coaching. The one thing that, you know, you hung your hat on with Michigan last season was just not making mistakes. They were they were just a well-oiled machine. They were such a disciplined team. You know, they didn't turn the ball over. They didn't get a lot of penalties. They just didn't make a lot of mistakes. <clears throat> and for, through these first games, whether it be mistakes on defense, whether it be mistakes on special teams, would it be whether it be mistakes, just mental mistakes, like on that first drive, um, you know, even though Arkansas State didn't score on the, the missed field goal. It was like third and 20. And they were going to get off the field. And then you got a guy with a late hit out of bounds when the play was over. That extended the drive. And I was like, man, it's just stupid. Just a lot of stupid penalties. Stuff that you never would have saw last season. But you're seeing it this season. So then it makes you wonder about the preparation, about the the coaching staff having these guys mentally ready for these games because they don't seem prepared. They don't seem like they're just men mentally into the game. They're just making stupid mistakes. And, you know, you can get away with it against Arkansas State. But you're gonna be able to get, get get away with this against USC or Oregon or or any game or any team in the Big Ten, for that matter. The team's got a lot of work ahead of them. Um, all aspects of this team are suspect. Special teams, except for the actual field goal kicking, a suspect. The the punting has been terrible. You know, I, I I don't know where you hang your hat on and say, man, this team really excels. I mean, people are calling us Iowa. Uh, at least Iowa could deal, you know, could rely on their punter. We can't even rely on their punter this year. So it's just it's just bad overall. Um, you know, people are hard on Coach Moore, but, you know, it's his first season. You, you can't get good at something until you actually do it. And this is his first time doing it. So, you know, this is just going to be a long season. And just be prepared, be prepared for it not going the way that we thought it was going to go. So, I mean, I'm happy that we won. I'm just not happy with the way that we won. I'm not happy with the way that we played. The running game was much improved, much improved, but there's just too many things that need to be cleaned up. There's some improvements, but a lot of things, they're just gaping holes that need to be plugged before we can be taken seriously. And... I don't know if we have enough time to get that plugged up before USC. 
So we just have to wait and see how things go. Prayerfully, we play much better next week. It is not like how the Texas game went. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like on the video. I'll leave me a comment in the comment section below if you made it this far. Let me get a go blue in the comment section. If you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. And as always, go blue.